sandwich in disguise. Once upon a time, there was a witch who lived at a valley near to a little town. She used to perform many enchantments, but her best one was when which was able to play with the senses of humans. It was so well done that nobody could see what she really was, and they took her as one of the nuns who lived at a monastery located in the valley too. Every two days, she left her home and went to look for kids. She went to the market, to downtown, to the forest, wherever she could find them. They were moist, mostly playing, and through another enchantment, she made the eyes of the kids blind, and they could only see a nun carrying a basket full of self-made cookies which were quickly eaten by all of the kids and even by their parents. Because of the cookies, she was very liked among the people of the town and everybody was happy to see her coming from the valley with her cookies basket. In reality, she only carried weights under her arm and she shaked them every time she wanted to create a new illusion. Some of the people, however, even made it to grab and eat some of them without knowing what they were eating. One day, as she was sharing her imaginary cookies, a little girl approached her but she noticed there was something very strange. The girl had been stung by a bee some days ago and she had to get a microsurgery in her ear. Sometimes she bled and because of that she had to clean her ear very often. Opposite to the other kids whose parents were always insisting they had to clean their ears but were always unheard. As the little girl approached the witch she was speaking with a very sweet voice but suddenly the little girl felt her ear was bleeding again so she had to clean it what a surprise it was hearing that over the sweet voice of the nun a second voice was to be heard which was not agreeable at all and whose words weren't agreeable either the girl rubbed her eyes and her surprise was even greater as she saw the sweet woman taking another form in front of her. The little girl screamed. Her scream took everybody out of their trance and could finally see who was in front of them. All the children started crying and wondering what had happened to her sweet nun. The witch, realizing that her real appearance was unveiled, run away and disappear in the forest. All the kids told their parents what just had happened. A horrible witch had eaten her sweet nun. The little girl who had seen and heard everything more accurately tried to explain them the truth, but they didn't believe her any words. The little girl thought it was good that they Everybody knew now that there was a witch in the town, but if they didn't believe her story, the witch could easily trick them out again. So she needed desperately someone to believe her. She had to stay alert. Within the time, her ear healed completely, but she had kept the habit of cleaning her ears and watching everything more skeptically. She knew the witch would come back someday, and if she didn't do anything, who knows what she would do to the whole town. The little girl had already realized that some kids were missing, but nobody else seemed to notice it. Trying to convince all of them to keep IGN 
when it came to what they had and saw wasn't successful at all. She could understand there wasn't enough time as to take care of those things and she could also understand that there wasn't time either to bake their own cookies and that was the reason they kept waiting for their beloved nun to come back or for any other nun to bring them cookies again. The little girl lived in permanent fear and always aware. Three weeks passed and as she hoped not hearing from the witch again, she heard somebody knocking at the door. Her parents opened it and joyfully let somebody in. It was a nun. The little girl opened her eyes widely and without saying anything went to hide in her room. The nun could see her and asked to speak to her. Both parents looked intrigued but went to look for their daughter. The little girl couldn't believe the witch dared to use exactly the same disguise to come back again. She had heard that the nun used a poor excuse like the witch only hurt me a little bit and I had to take rest in bed for a while but now I feel good again and I'm here to bring all of you cookies again. It was a nightmare. The little girl couldn't believe her eyes as she saw their parents forcing the door of her room and telling the nun they felt very honored that she asked for their permission to take the little girl with her in order to teach her how to bake cookies. The little girl started crying, saying that she didn't want to go with her, but her parents got very angry and her father took her by her arm forcing her to leave the room. The nun was smiling sweetly but the little girl knew what was exactly hiding under that smile. The little girl only had one chance. While being dumped out of the room, she couldn't make it to reach a glass of water which was standing on a little night table and threw the water over the glasses of her father. Her father let her free in jail while looking for something to try and clean his glasses and as he rubbed his eyes he couldn't believe that a witch was standing in front of him he ran rapidly in the adjoining room and before the witch could set a foot out of the girl's room in front of the eyes of her wife who couldn't understand what was happening he shot the witch who fell dead instantly on the floor his wife could finally see what he was seeing and cover her mouth with both hands while tears dropped all over her face. That afternoon, the whole town gathered together and discussed about very important matters. Among them, the daily cleaning process of ears, eyes and body and the necessity to learn to bake their own cookies as well as other delicious things so that nobody else could sweeten their ears, eyes and stomachs while giving them in reality unhealthy things to eat and stealing their children away. Listen, we should ask ourselves more than once if what we are perceiving is for real and we should learn to provide ourselves with the right nurture for mind and soul instead of relying blindly on someone else.